Hello teachers, good to see you again. Uh, this is a Friday, uh, so I hope you're all looking forward to the weekend. I've actually had several questions um, from teachers uh, about benchmark reports. A lot, of, uh, a lot of teachers are coming to me and saying, I assigned an assessment, they all turned it in, but there is no data that's showing up. So I wanna make sure that we're clear about how do we, what do we have to do to get the data to show up? So this will be a very quick video about accessing the data from something that you have assigned, uh, an assessment you've assigned via benchmark. And so what you're looking at over here is a dashboard. So this is my trainer account, otherwise I don't have access to students. Uh, but if you can see right here, under assignments, so you pushed out the assignment uh, for your students to complete in benchmark. So what you have to do before you go to reports is you have to go back here to assignments. When you click on assignments, um, you'll find the assignment. Now, uh, I set up a pretend assignment. Um, this is a third grade unit three assessment, but you click on that assessment. Um, now it might be under closed and it might be under deleted. All right, so if, if it's already at its end date, it might not be right showing up, but it says my end date has an end, is, is tomorrow, um, it's right here. But you have to click back on that assignment. When you click in the assignment, that's where you can monitor each of your students, and these will be your students' names. Mine don't have names. Um, and then it will see their status, okay? If uh, there's a green check mark, uh, that means they've completed it, they've turned it in. Uh, also, uh, you can also see other uh, indicators, as if they've not started it, or it's in progress, uh, or if there's something that's gone glitchy. Um, in either one of these cases, especially error, reach out to me and I'll reach out to Benchmark Support. All right, so what you need to do before you can uh, see the data in reports is you actually have to do one more step. That's grade the assignment. You see, uh, Benchmark will grade all of the multiple choice questions. However, in each of the unit assessments, there's an open, or at least one, often two constructed response questions. And in order, uh, Benchmark can't grade those. So those need to be manually graded by you. Pause right there. You might be saying, I didn't think we had to do the constructed response questions. Uh, that's up to you. That's a teacher decision. Either way, you have to either give a fictitious, a fictitious grade in Benchmark. So I just logged in. So this is, um, this is now the grading. I just clicked on grade assignment and it's pulled up all five of my students that took this test. Now, full disclosure, you're going to see a lot of wrong ones because I didn't even read the questions. I went in as each one of these students and just guessed on answers. So we're going to see a lot of red. Um, but you go forward. So red automatically is they've gotten it wrong. Green may, means they've gotten it correct, but we have to go forward. You'll see these little orange exclamation points that say this needs grading. OK, so what you do is you just sit, click on it um, and then you'll see my fake response and then you can you grade it okay it'll already have the rubric so you can give a zero one or two if you're wondering oh what's if you did actually have them complete it you have the, the passage here where you can go to you can see what they had all the passages you can see the rubric to kind of help guide that um, and you can actually see a sample response that would have gotten two points for this particular grade level. In this case, it's a third grade. So uh, those are those resources kind of right here on that, um, on that side dashboard. But if you had students just turn it in without uh, actually typing, then you can give a fictitious grade. By the way, it's, great. it's a great writing uh, assessment as well. So if you wanted to use these benchmark unit assessments for the future, it might give you some great d data for progress reports. But either way, you go through and you grade it. Now, you can either go uh, one student at a time. Now, notice I'm on question 16. If I'm on question 16 for one student and I just go down my list, I can go in, happy fall. I get that, that's two points because I love fall. Um, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Today's rainy. I don't know what day you're watching this video, but it's beautiful. So I'm actually going to go through and uh, correct all of the question 16. So you can go each one. So especially if you have students respond to the question, it's a great way to kind of get in your head, okay, this is the kangaroo polar bear one, um, and this is what they're looking for. So you can kind of grade those uh, quickly. Or you could do each one student at a time. So you could do question 16, and then it's always uh, the last question is a constructive response. Um, question 22, this one usually has uh, 
higher uh, uh, chance of getting more points because it's more involved. Again, you still have your rubric here, all right? Four, three, two, one. You can actually see what were there, what were they're supposed to be doing. Um, um, again, it's more detailed, so uh, so yeah, they can get a higher range of scores. You noticed as soon as I graded for this student, Pomona student one, both of those, all right, I, I finished grading both of those constructive response, and immediately now that's where you see the results. All right, so you could do one student at a time, both questions, or again, similar to before, if I'm on 22 for this student, if I go down to my second student, um, I love the scent of pumpkin scented candles, or pumpkin spice candles, right? So as soon as I hit it, all right, Pomona student two has seven out of 29, because I've just graded now the entire thing. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Yes, I am not a very good guesser, you see this? All right, so, um, three, oh, now, wait a minute, this one didn't pop up. That's why, because uh, when I was going through, I still hadn't done 16 for this one. So we're going through, how many days until Thanksgiving, I am wondering, and then we're going here. Again, this is question 16. Again, you see the question, it is Friday, we're excited, we're getting a two here, and then I just need to do this very last grade. I am ready for the weekend, and there you go. So, by just randomly guessing, I am below proficiency for all, all five of my students, but that's how you can ensure that you can now see student scores. And then as soon as you, as soon as you have done that, you go into reports and that's where you can access that data. I'll give another walkthrough in this next, in another video uh, to show you how to access those reports um, next. So uh, thanks everyone. I hope that clears up any questions and gets you going on your benchmark assessment journey. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.